Hi guys, it's Sam from Raggedy Bits. Today I'm going to share with you how to uh, make some really pretty drawer inserts uh, rather than going out and buying a ton of gift pa wrapping paper or pretty paper that can sometimes be expensive. I'm just going to use some plain old boring brown paper to line uh, this chest of drawers that I recently made over for our monthly paying party. And I'm going to use some IRD stamps. So let's get busy stamping. way that I've found to draw line uh, sorry to line the drawers uh, is to grab your paper making sure that you have one straight edge on either side of your wrapping paper just pop it and then just grabbing some scissors just run that of your drawer. I apologise if this is hurting your ears a bit with the crinkling of the paper, but I'll make it as quick as I can. You just need to try and get as straight as you can. And the reason that you cut it a little bit bigger than the drawer is so that um, it doesn't have to be perfect get that nice crisp edge. Okay, so first things first, you wanna make sure that the, your drawer insert is all nice and clean. So I usually just grab a vacuum cleaner and make sure that all the dust um, is out from the drawers. And then using the straight piece, you butt that up nice and snugly to the back of the drawer. So this is the back of the drawer, this is the front of the drawer. Push that in as snugly as you can. And then just using your fingernails or something sharp, but that's not gonna cut the paper. You just run your fingers along the edge where the drawer meets the base just making sure that it doesn't slip from the back of the drawer like so just make sure it's all sitting in nice and snugly and then you just grab your uh, craft knife or exacto knife and then working on either side you just find where the draw side meets the bottom and you just run your knife along the side of the draw if you can hear my pussycat meowing that's because it's dinner time <laughs> You just want to be careful when you get to the edge because you don't want to rip it um, rip the paper away too quickly in case um, it's still joined so you just do the other side getting right into the edge there and then Across the front here. You want to make sure that you, your knife's obviously sharp so you're cutting the paper nicely. And just carefully Move the paper away. Just go 
back over any bits that you may have missed. I've missed quite a bit. <laughs> today's project I'm just going to whoops use the uh, rose toil um, IOD stamp um, and I'm actually going to leave it completely on the uh, transfer paper so I'm going to use the whole entire stamp set and just move it across the uh, the paper so making sure that your designs up the right way so that's going to the back of the drawer because that's the straight edge that I didn't cut. And I've just popped out some ink onto an old tile. And I just load up my stamp. Probably shouldn't do this on top of the paper in case they slip. Because I'm working in a limited space and I want, it, want you guys to be able to see what I'm doing. Just be careful when you get to the edge. Okay. So keeping in mind that that's the back end of the drawer, I'm gonna line up my stamp and drop. Just lightly run my fingers over the top, always having one hand on the stamp so it doesn't slip. Load up again, lightly. And stamp around. You could also do this with other plain paper, like say for instance, um, if I wanted to do a coordinating color to go with this chest of drawers, like a pink, then I could use um, maybe a white paint um, or black um, or ink. Um, you just sort of change it out uh, as you go, depending on what you're painting. Oh, sorry, what you're stamping. So now there's a few little bits and pieces that, um, you know, sort of along the strip, the bottom here. What I'll do is I'll just take off one of the stamps and load it up and just move the stamp around to fill in the gaps. If you didn't want to have such a depth with the black, you could also use the stone grey ink if you wanted to. Or as I said, if you've got a white ink, um, you could use that too. The possibilities really are endless with what you can do. Okay, so... 
Now I'll just let that dry and then I will pop uh, it back into the drawer and then continue the process with the other um, drawers. They're all dry now and I've just simply popped them back into the drawer. Um, you can use a spray adhesive or some double sided tape to hold the paper down but I don't like to do that when I'm selling my furniture because um, you know over time it you know the paper can wear and all that sort of stuff and I don't want to make it difficult for my clients to have to remove the drawer liners if they need to. Watching today, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this fun tutorial on how to make some really cute little drawer liners. Um, very inexpensive and don't have to spend obviously a ton of money on uh, paper. And it's a little bit of fun because it's unique and you don't see it everywhere else. So I'll leave all the links below of all the products that I've used on today's tutorial. Um, along with um, a link to our monthly painting par party if you'd like to join us each month and, ha and learn a fun different new technique from wherever you are in the world um, and as you can see last month's project was blending along with a bit of furniture transfer and also some hardware uh, painting because these were originally uh, silvery gold and they did not suit the um, project at all. So anyway, um, until next time, stay safe and happy painting.